Your research on the beach is coming along well. It seems like you're about to get ready to move on to the offshore area. <gasps> you guys, we're going in the water after the water type Pokemon. Oh, that's so exciting. Especially because in Pixelmon Ranger, we actually have huge swaths of ocean and beaches. And I've been trying to figure out exactly what we're going to do in order to go ahead and like build up that area and make it beautiful in Pixelmon Ranger. So this should give us an idea of what it actually looks like when you have the beauty of tons of wild Pokemon just out in some gorgeous reefs. Oh, now I want to draw a map and like have special trails that we can actually go on in our Pixelmon Ranger adventures. Wouldn't that be so much fun? Oh, I almost need to get out my little field notes notebook and start jotting down all these ideas. But all right, Professor Mir, go on. The Neo one can travel over a reef just as well as over a river after all. Let's get ready for some reef search. Oh my gosh. Professor Mir, you just gave me the best pun title ever. Reef search! I'm using that the rest of my life. All right, but let's also check out the request, my friends. Without peeking, I closed my eyes uh, away from looking at what other people are sharing. But let's check out all these requests because there are so many of them and I love them. It makes me feel like we have this really vital and really super important uh, like research bit sent by like the ecologist. That's my that's my like role play. And if you're not here for the role play, I'm not sure why you're here, but I hope you're having a good time. But I just really like the idea that we're actually here and like all of these requests are important elements of research that we need to do on the different animals. <gasps> Maybe we could start doing something like that in our Pixelmon Ranger series too. Oh my gosh, I'm getting ridiculously excited. But all right, we've already completed a sleep on a calm night with the Espeon that we found. Good detective work, or excuse me, Sylveon. Oh, I'm very embarrassed about that right now, sorry. Good detective work. Perhaps Sylveon's soothing aura is what allows them to sleep so soundly. And now that we have the music, we can probably wake Sylveon up. Oh, that's gonna be so much fun. All right, so, well, I don't want to, like, bother Sylveon, but, you know. There's also cutting a moment from Phil now. Check it out! This apom just sliced right through the grass, like, pachow! I wish I could have been a little quicker with the shutter. Okay, so there's going to be something to do in the jungle. It looks like there's a couple more things. There's a lot of things going on in the jungle. Wow, we also got Arbok. I took a picture of Arbok when he fell out. <laughs> That's a really good picture. I took a picture of Arbok when he fell out of a tree in the jungle. Huh, I knew it. That noise I heard was the sound of Arbok falling out of its tree. Um, that's kind of amazing. And then, do we have... Let's see, I did making a splash. The usual spot, a figure of beauty. And then, <gasps> Wingle Loop de Loop! Here we go! So this is what we want. The things for the beach. Have you ever seen the Wingle do a loop de loop while flying? I bet you can get a photo of it. I bet I can get a photo of it before you do. All right, so we're gonna try to get a Wingle loop de loop because that is definitely birds uh, and Pokemon, so it's the perfect mix for me. Three in a row. Earlier, I saw some Executor napping. They looked so cute. I was hoping you could see them too. Okay, so we need to maybe take a picture of them napping again, and then say cheese. Blossom seemed to react to the scan function. That might help you take a good photo of it. Okay, so we need to lure the Blossom out with the scan function instead of the song. And then hiding in the sand. The way uh, Octillery is eyeing the sand over there, something's just about to happen. I know it, the Stunfisk that's hiding in there. Okay, so this is exciting. We have Blossom request, we have Stunfisk request, Executor request, Wingle loop de loops These requests, just imagine the importance of the research that they are are helping us do. All right, so let's come in. Do I want to go? Ooh, I want to go to the new area. I really want to go to the new area. <laughs> let's go. We're going to go to Marsicopia Reef and remember the request for the future. This coral reef echoes with the pleasant sounds of waves and singing. Who is singing? I need to know who's singing here. I'm so excited, you guys. No Pokemon, no score. All right. There's a Wingle again. I wonder where they nest. Maybe that's our good pixel biology question for the day. <gasps> what the heck? Oh, look at that Finion and Sharkpedo. 
Oh, the reef is just full of Pokemon! I would be so nervous to get near the Shark Beetle. Hello, little one. Not interested in the food, I take it? Or the music? All right, what about the scan function? All right, who do we have around here? Finneon. And then Shark Pedo. Wait, are you gonna come after? Oh, look at the Wingle sitting up there roosting! That's really cool! All right, so there's the Shark Pedo. It can stay over there, thank you very much. I would really appreciate the distance. Oh my gosh! We're surrounded by Shark Pedo? Oh, did you guys see that? Okay, a little nervous. He's getting a bit close. How good is the Neo one at like, you know, giving us some some safety space? <gasps> Freaking a little close. No, thank you. No, thank you. Did it just try to go ahead and bite me? Man, that's what I think about you, buddy. You you don't even have a tail. You just a star on your butt. Take that. Oh my word. Okay. All right. All right. Magikarp, what? Come back. Are you caught? No, did you make that whirlpool? I guess that makes sense because the Pokemon can make like different whirlpools. Okay, I think we throw it in. And then Magikarp. Oh, we got him. So I think you have to like throw food in and then Magikarp comes out. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Okay, what else do we have going on? Oh, I missed them again. Oh, there's so many. I can't remember how to like throw the crystal bloom thing, but that's right, we can't do it yet because we haven't researched. Hey, Wingle! All right, up close and personal with Wingle. Gotta get freaking man mantines. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, <gasps> look at that thing! <gasps> yay, 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 yay. When I said look at the thing, <laughs> well, Lord, why? <laughs> oh my gosh. We've been temporarily stopped by a Willlord. That's fine. <gasps> is somebody nesting up there? You guys, that is actually a nest. We actually have a, a Pokemon nest right up here. I am so amazed. All right, bye, Willlord. I hope everything's okay. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that just happened. Yes, yes, I saw the nest. The bird Pokemon nest. There may be an egg inside. I can't believe that. Oh, I'm really happy about that. Also, hey, Machop, Machamp. Hey, you want to use one of those four arms to maybe catch this? No? All right, all right. He's doing his, his workouts. I hear more splashing. Am I about to die? Oh, man, Nadine. Hi. Oh, my gosh. I thought I was about to die again because there was just so much thing. There's, I love this. We've got to make our reefs in Pixelmon Ranger like this where everybody is just happy. I haven't heard the singing though. Maybe if I play the music, somebody, oh. Hey, will you catch this? Okay. He didn't catch it. I feel a little bad. Oh, there's two ways to go. I could have gone over there. Or can I go over here? <gasps> Look at these guys. <gasps> Look, you guys. Do you see who's riding? Okay, I hope that's riding and not like... All right, maybe I can free him because I think that the little one's about to become food. Come on, toss this. Are you gonna... Okay, exceptionally concerned because I think that somebody's about to become food for someone else. Also, what are these? I've never seen marine uh, marines before. Like they've not been in any of the Pokemon regions and generations that I was raised on, that I have cut my my Pokedex teeth on. You might say. All right, <gasps> I'm out of pictures. I am out of pictures. I, I didn't know I could run out of pictures. <laughs> I was so excited. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. Clearly I had a great time at the reef. Tons of questions to ask. Now we actually have an idea of where the the Wingles and Pelikers may actually nest. So many new discoveries. I, I literally used up all of the space on the memory card. Wow. Also almost gotten eaten by a shark pedo, which kind of surprised me. All right, Krista Blooms. We've got all of these. Oh my gosh, this was so cool. All right, Professor, what say you? 
I love the reef. I think the reef is like one of my new favorite areas, but we are making great progress on research in the jungle. Yeah, there were so many sharkpedos. I really hope that like we have collision protection from those guys. Yay, new Finion. Whilst we are, you know, out and about in our little Neo. Yay, look at these guys. How's the Wingle? <gasps> look at how happy he is. All right, Magikarp. I like how this guy is just like jumping out of the the um, whirlpool. I think our Magikarp pictures are some of our best. Just look at how glorious they are. This amazing Mantine photo. I think that one's pretty good, personally. Yes, diamonds. All right, and look at the Pelipper, but it's got somebody in his mouth. I feel like I need to knock it, like him with an apple so that we can try to get that out. And well, Lord. Oh, you guys, this was so fun. I love this. And now I'm so curious about like how do the the Wingle and the Pelipper, Pelicapar, blah, 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 nest, like, I really want to research that more. Are we going to be able to watch? <gasps> As we level up the reef, do we get to watch the eggs hatch? Because if that's the case, <gasps> we've already leveled up the reef. Oh my gosh. Another step forward for our research. I bet Pokemon in the area are starting to get comfortable with you. Oh my gosh. 15 water types. By the way, thanks to the progress you've made in your research, I've got something to report. Oh my gosh. You guys! <laughs> okay, new request and the professor has something to report. This was so fun. I need to make sure I save some of these pictures. I actually got uh, the printer for the Pokemon photos. So now our flying squirrel patrons, who are really amazing and help to keep all of our adventures going in our pixel biology community as a whole, are going to start getting real pictures from our games. Not just the Pokemon Snap game, but a whole bunch of our games printed out on a little uh, really cool uh, Polaroid that are going to be going into their flying squirrel kits, which I'm pretty excited about. You can check that out on our Patreon if you're interested, but basically what I'm trying to say is the reason I'm going the extra mile to make sure we start saving the pictures we take is because they are indeed going to go and, oh, look at that Pelipper. They're gonna go and they are going to be sent to real life people as real life pictures, which is amazing. All right, let's see. We'll go ahead and grab. This is a pretty good picture with the background like that. And my first time seeing a Marini. Yeah, I was a little excited about all of this. All right, let's see what the professor has to say. And we'll check out the new request at some point too. Captain Vince, an adventurer who explored the islands in the Lintel regions around 100 years ago. After an encounter with an Illumina Pokemon when he was just a child, he devoted his life to adventure. Hey, professor, everyone's here. Thanks, Rita. Let's get started. We've located a new teleportation point but all right where is it where is it that's the thing it's under the sea of all places oh <gasps> are you serious that's so awesome there's just one thing the neo one wasn't really built to go underwater oh come on so i fixed it up so it can why did you why didn't you leave with that part oh my gosh i can't wait so get ready, everyone. We've got some seafloor reef search to do. <laughs> Under the sea, huh? That'll be a sight to see. Oh, you guys. I had so much fun. We saw so many things. Oh, what are the like research points that we should be doing if we were under the sea? Actually, oh, look. There's a whole bunch of new compl like, like requests. Art in flight? Like, what's going on? This is interesting. We're actually running into requests that have to do with areas we've already gone to. Wow. Like, where's that Pokemon? Best frenemies, art in flight. And then, do we have anything based around the reef? Triple threat, resting its wings. Where's your favorite pollen? Tonight's dinner. What? An unusual spot of figure and beauty. We've seen some of these, but here we go. So the one that are the ones that are new, I think, a bite for the bully of the sea. You know, Shark Peter are known as the bullies of the sea, but I wonder if they'll eat fluff, uh, fluff fruit. Bobbing for fluff fruit. 
Uh, when do you think Pelipper come? When do you think Pelipper come down and fly near the surface of the ocean? Also, what do they eat? Returning to the sea, have you ever have you ever seen how Pukumuku? Uh, let's see, Pukumuku. Yep, returned to the sea. I haven't seen it happen here on Lintel anyway. Oh, you guys, there's so many cool requests to chase down, which means researching even more about the pixel biology biology of all of these guys. What do you guys think? Like, that was beautiful. And next time, we're actually going underwater. I love this so much. It's just bringing all of what the pixel biology community is about to life. So let me know what you guys think about our current question about Wingle and Pelipaker. I'm getting that name totally wrong. Sorry about that. Uh, how they nest, because it looks like they, they nest independently. I thought maybe they'd nest like a lot of shorebird species do on a cliff together, but it looks like they find their own little like rocky cliff that they nest on at a calmer reef area to raise their babies and probably eat a whole bunch of the fish that are around there. Sorry, Fideon. But let me know what you guys think in the comments, and if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!